Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review. I am here to show you Aesthetica Monica in the color Caramel Kiss RT4. I have Wig Studio One to thank for this wig. So Wig Studio One has sent me Monica so that I would have a chance to take a look at her and try her and share her with all of you. So I'd like to thank Wig Studio One. They have been a wonderful partner over the past few years. I've been able to do a number of guest reviews for them and it has just expanded my wig knowledge exponentially because of their generosity and in turn yours because then I go and do a review. So please thank Wig Studio One for me and check them out. They are a wonderful retailer. It is the first place I purchased my first wig and so you can go to wigstudioone.com and check out their whole uh, lineup of wigs that they sell. They also have a fantastic Facebook group called Wig and Topper Support. It's uh, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support on Facebook and I highly recommend that you uh, join a group on Facebook if you'd like to get more support during your wig journey because there is no substitute for asking other wig sisters for advice, for pictures, for their experience with wigs and Wig Studio One is a great place to do that. All right, let's talk about Monica. Oh my goodness, you guys, this wig was not on my radar. I had never seen it before she showed up on my doorstep. Let's take a look at her from all sides. You gotta see all of these layers. And let me plant a picture in your head before I start turning. For those of you who are familiar with the TV show Friends, tell me this doesn't look like Rachel's hair when she had the Rachel, the famous Rachel haircut in the first couple of seasons. The bounce and movement of these layers is absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, you guys, there are so many fun layers in this piece. It gives it this fun layered volume without having tons and tons of hair or tons and tons of permatease. It really does remind me of her, uh, the character Rachel on Friends, Jennifer Aniston, her haircut at that time. It is just so fun and flippy. And I gotta swallow first before I keep talking. <laughs> and that brings me to kind of talking about how these layers really play up this style. So one of the things I really like about this wig is that it's not heavy, heavy density, but it has enough hair that these layers just give it this body and this volume. You can just see that. But it's, I would consider this a moderate to low density wig. It's not heavy density at all. And as for permatease, there is some permatease right up on the top here. I can kind of feel it on the cap. It gives it some lift up here. But like there isn't pillowy permatease on the sides. There is permatease. So let's just take a moment to talk about the different kinds of permatease that a wig can have. So you get the poofy pillowy permatease, the nesty kind that when you stick your hands in, all you feel is nesty permatease. Um, there's a little bit, there really isn't nesty permatease. There's a, 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 well look at the cap, I think I'm feeling cap right here. But what I can feel is that middle ground permatease where it's a little bit of, it's crimpy fibers, but I can still feel the cap through it. And that's what this one has. So while she has permatease, it isn't poofy, I got her all messed up here playing with her, it isn't poofy, pillowy permatease. But if you dislike permatease, if you really struggle with permatease, I will tell you that this probably has a little bit more permatease than you're used to. If you like permatease, you're going to love this one. If you want the more permatease, the better. This one doesn't have that nesty, pillowy permatease. I personally think this has the perfect amount of permatease for a straight layered wig. Perfect. 
I don't know if that helped you at all, but that's my opinion. Let's take a look at this lace front. Good lace front. Aesthetica makes decent lace fronts, especially when you think about the fact this is a rooted color. So let's look at that. So I will tell you that um, I can see the lace front on me. I think that the color of the lace is just a little bit light for my skin tone. Um, I do notice that on Aesthetica wigs though, and I'll tell you guys, I do most of the time trim Aesthetica wigs. I have a video on my YouTube channel that is a Tip Tuesday video where I show how you can take a pinking shears to trim the lace back on these ready to wear wigs. I almost always trim the lace on my Aesthetica wigs. I just find the lace to be a little long for me and I can often see it. And because I adhere it with its stays, I can usually see that line where it's adhered. A little trim with the pinking shears is all it takes. It's super easy to do, but I do notice that with Aesthetica wigs and I noticed it with this one other than that it's a great lace front and it's definitely realistic looking let's look at the cap so Monica has a lace front and a mono part ear tabs that have the metal stays in them open extended nape and bra strap adjusters this fits me or I'm sorry hook adjusters this fits me like all other Aesthetica wigs I do think Aesthetica runs just a little bit generous and people often refer to Aesthetica as a big head friendly brand because they run a little generous and they usually have a lot of really good stretch um, so I, I find that to be true with Aesthetica wigs so let me um, show you that part because I didn't show you that part before. Another thing I love about Aesthetica wigs, she pops on so great and just takes a little finger styling to really get her where you want her. But one thing I really love about Aesthetica wigs is I think they've got great parting space. So there's the mono part. It is a left side mono part. I just love that they look so realistic. I like that you can see it through the hair fibers that's important to me because we pay a little bit extra for those mono parts and I do want to be able to see them. I often put a little makeup on them to make them look even more realistic, but I think they've got great parts. Um, it's just a really fun shake and go wig. I cannot believe this was not on my radar and that I had never heard of her. The ear tabs come down almost to my ears. The coverage I get on these Aesthetica wigs is phenomenal. You cannot see my bio hair there. That is outstanding coverage, which means if I want to uh, pull her up, you know, because she's got this lace front, so it's nice to be able to kind of take her up and pull her up in a clip and style her. I totally can do that. I love these little fringy layers that she has because it's just so flattering around the face and they kind of perfectly frame the face even when I pull her up, but even when I don't. Those fringy layers are just awesome. You can cut a full bang in her if you want to. The, the front falls down just perfectly and so just take a little bit of a trim there and then you get a full bang. The template is already built for you which makes it really easy. Just fun. I mean you can get her a little poofed out. You can kind of sleek her out a little bit. The styling I think is going to be awesome. You can put just some clips on the sides. If you find in the beginning that these layers are too poofy for you, you can just take little claw clips and you can kind of tack down a few of the layers and then just hide them with hair and then you will lower the profile. I have a tip Tuesday on that as well. So you need to go to my YouTube channel to see all of these little tips that will help you in your wig wearing. Otherwise, I like her. She's adorable. I'm so, so glad I got to try her. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this piece. I'll get outside for you so that you can see what she looks out outside, uh, what this color looks like outside. And I will also show you at the very end how she looked out of the box. I did film an out of the box. She looked great out of the box. I didn't do anything to her. I shook her out and I hung her upside down for a few days. I don't even think I sprayed this one with water, which I usually do all my wigs. I have a hair fiber in my eye. Um, she just looked fantastic out of the box. Just really was shake and go, which is awesome. I, I do want to say one thing about this color though. So Caramel Kiss RT4, I guess I didn't, I usually talk about the color in the beginning and I didn't. Um, I really, really like this color by Aesthetica, but of all, for me, this color is one of the ones that tends to look 
sometimes a little wiggy. It's really strange. I don't know what it is. I think it's just the way that they blended the caramel bright highlights with this. It's a golden chestnut brown that they use. It can sometimes look a little shiny in certain types of overhead lighting. You can totally take care of that with dry shampoo. I don't tend to have problems with shiny wigs and I never put dry shampoo on my wigs, but I have a few wigs in this color now and um, I specifically notice it when people take pictures. If I'm in a picture that somebody else took, I can sometimes see that the fibers look a little shiny if it's got some weird overhead lighting. So just kind of, that's my two cents about this color, but it is a beautiful chestnut brown with golden blonde highlights. It's got a, a really subtle root. This color also comes in an unrooted version. I prefer the rooted version. And you can just see some of these highlights are fairly uh, bold and chunky. It's not stripey, but it definitely has bold, chunky highlights. You'll get to see this color more outside. Sorry, I forgot to talk about that, but I'm so, I've am so i reviewed so many wigs in this color. It's one of their most popular colors. It's really beautiful. If you're a brunette who wants to go a little bit more bold and dynamic and you want some really golden, warm highlights, this wig has those for you. They're so good. Um, I just noticed sometimes because they're so bright and golden, it can look just a little shiny at times. All right, let me get outside for you. Thank you so much for watching and thank you Wig Studio One for sending me this beautiful head of hair. All right, here we are outside with Caramel Kiss RT4. Beautiful color. Just gorgeous. I love how they do the rooting on this one because it's very subtle. It just complements it so much. I'm going to get out into a little sunlight here so that you can see it with sunlight. There you can see just a lot of really golden highlights all throughout. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped you guys. Okay, everyone, here we are with the out of the box for Monica. I'm getting her out of the box right now. Just the, looks like we've got the netting kind of caught on the adjuster. There we go. No netting. Tag still on. Just fresh out of the box. She has not been shaken out or anything. Looking in my mirror. I'm seeing her for the first time too. This time I actually didn't put her on before. I sometimes do, just so I know what I'm going to be dealing with, but not this time. Well, now, she's cute. So I'll admit, I um, didn't really know much about Monica before she came, actually. And so I got on and I watched a couple of videos. There really aren't many videos on this one. Wow, she's super cute. Okay, so what am I noticing here? Not too bad a box hair, actually. I think she's um, looks pretty good for the most part. She just, you know, needs her typical shaking out. I have no idea what the back looks like right now, but really not bad. If I had purchased this wig, uh, um, I wouldn't be disappointed at all. I wouldn't be worried that you know gosh what am I gonna do with her so that's great that doesn't mean every one of the, these are gonna come out of the box because you don't know how long it's been in the box you don't know under what conditions it was stored in the box you know climate control and all of that stuff okay so we're gonna shake her out because that's what you always do you have to shake a wig out which makes it really hard to know when to keep and when to return because obviously you do this and you can't return it at that point. Um, but I do promise it gets easier after a while. The more experience you get, it does get easier to discern whether or not you think you'll be able to make it a good style for you with some either minimal or extensive modifications. Okay, so I shook it out. So let's put it back on. 
Yeah, see, she's really looking great out of the box. A very little needs to be done with this one. As a matter of fact, I think all I'm going to do is hang her upside down on my towel rack over here, you know, right over there. Um, just let her hang for, you know, a few days. Probably doesn't even need that much time. I just don't know that I'll get to a review before a few days. Just because gravity will help wake the fibers up. Very minimal permatease, but there is a tiny bit and it'll wake the permatease up as well. She's super cute. I really like her. All right, you guys, that's it. Out of the box, looks really good. Minimal needs to be done with this one. Thanks so much for being here and for watching. I'll talk to you soon.